Brian Manzella, director of the Brian Manzella Golf Academy at English Touring Golf and Country Club in New Orleans, Louisiana. Rory McIlroy's victory in the 2012 Honda Classic was highlighted by his stellar play on the closing four holes. The Bear Trap, 15, 16, and 17, and the closing 18th hole at PGA National in Palm Beach Gardens, Florida, all have a lot of trouble, but most of it's on the right. I'm gonna show you how Rory has a key move in his swing that makes it easy for him to eliminate the right side under pressure, and how, in this case, it helped him make four clutch pars, beating the posted 10 under par score by Tiger Woods, who had finished with a career low 62. When Rory is at the top of his swing, like most good players, he has a lot of wrist cock and a big shoulder turn. And this is setting him up for the first stage of the downswing, which is the basic pure pulling mode. And then about halfway down, what Rory does is he uses his right arm and right shoulder to start rotating on top of the club in a way that not only keeps the club from going below plane, like a lot of people would do if they kept pulling, but helps him, as he gets on top, helps him start closing the face as well. This virtually eliminates the right side of the golf course under pressure. Here's a drill I think will really help you incorporate this into your swing for similar results. Just go ahead and set up to the ball normal with your left hand grip in its usual place. Make a left arm backswing and you can help yourself with your right arm, get a little stretch right here. And just use these fingers of the right hand to sort of keep the club from fleeing out. Now you can experience this first little phase of the downswing where your hand should stay to the right of the weight of the club and you're in a pure pulling phase. But now you want to switch your hand from behind the club to in front of the club as you view it. Behind to in front. And you can use your shoulder like Rory to help you with that move. You are pulling, now pulling with a little pushing. And you can see how that helped me start squaring the club face up. Then you can make a few practice swings in three phases. First phase, back swing. Second phase, pure pulling. And now getting that right shoulder and right arm more on top of the club to support the club face, not having to flip close or rotate too much at the bottom, which will cause you a lot of trouble under pressure. And then just build it up from a little bit slower than normal full swings to regular speed full swings. And I promise you, not only will it eliminate a lot of people's right shots under pressure, but it may make you hit the ball further than you ever have and post some of the lowest scores you've ever posted in your fourth rounds as well.